Hi and welcome to Las Colinas Golf Resort here in Spain. My name is Chris Ryan and today we're talking about the short game and I'm going to explain to you what I call the short game toolbox which is going to help you hit different shots around the greens, different trajectories, different spins, different rollouts, definitely going to help you get close to all of those tricky flags that you might encounter. So thank you for joining me here at Las Colinas Golf Resort in Spain. And as we've already said, we are talking about the shots that you play from around the green. I call these your scrambling shots where you've just missed the green. These shots are often between maybe 10, 15 yards, all the way up to sort of 30 or 40 yards. So we're not really classing it as pitch shots because pitch shots might be over 50, 60 yards but they're not really chip shots from really close. They're kind of those in-between shots. And we're gonna talk in this video about the toolbox, what I call the toolbox. So this is, you know, things that you can do to make that ball fly higher, fly lower, which is going to affect the amount of spin. It's going to affect the amount of rollout. And then we can start to layer that up and actually use that toolbox to deal with situations where we've maybe got a poor lie, the ball sitting down, it's thick, rough, etc., etc. So this toolbox, is going to enable you to hit the ball on multiple different trajectories with the same club. Now, obviously, if you have got um, you know, a multiple wedge setup, I carry four wedges now, the first thing we would do is look at selecting the golf club that's got the right amount of loft. But what we tend to find is the better players tend to use one to two wedges around the green and then change their technique to give themselves the higher or that lower flight. So let's go ahead and just talk about those three things and what they would do and how they would change the flight. So the first one is just the amount of loft that we set at address. I've got myself my 60 degree wedge here, which obviously has got 60 degrees. So I have got the option of using the stated loft on the golf club, which is the 60. That's going to give me a certain flight. But my first tool in my toolbox is the ability to open the face and increase the loft and then lean the handle forward to decrease the loft. So I can actually change that loft to the point where the number on the bottom which says 60 suddenly doesn't really mean anything because I can increase it maybe up to 70 or I can decrease it down to let's say 50 maybe even 40. So we have the ability to change the loft on the golf club and that's obviously going to change the rollout and it's going to change the flight before that. The second thing we can do in our setup to change the trajectory is to raise or lower the handle. So let's take a normal starting position from here. So I could raise the handle or I could lower the handle. Now, as you can probably see there, if I raise the handle, I need to then walk in much closer. And if I lower the handle, that's going to cause me to stand much further from the golf ball. So as well as lowering and raising the handle, we need to change our distance from the ball accordingly. I wouldn't really be too concerned with the distance of the ball. I would be more concerned with thinking about where the handle is positioned and then you can adjust your setup around that. The final thing that we can do in our technique to change the trajectory is thinking about how we release the club or more importantly, the width of the arc or how far the grip end travels. So if I made a swing where the grip end was traveling on a very wide arc such as this, that's going to give me a much lower flighted shot. If I made a swing where the arc of the grip was much narrower, so you can see here the travel of the butt of the club is much less, this is going to give me a higher shot. And you can see how this would actually be a little bit more wrist action, a little bit more extension of that lead wrist, a little bit more flexion of that trail wrist through the hit. So let's go ahead and demonstrate two examples. I've got my 60. I'm going to hit two shots into this green here. I'm going to hit a low flighted shot and then a high flighted shot just by changing those three things. So let's go from my normal starting position. This is how I would set myself up normally to the golf ball. So the first thing is I'm going to do, I'm going to lean the handle forwards. I then need to walk forwards. I'm going to raise the handle up and walk in closer. And then finally, I'm going to get the grip end to travel on this long arc. This should give me a lower flight. And you can see that was a low flight. Now that particular shot wasn't really what I would do to this particular flag, but the result was that lower flighted shot. So now let's go for the higher one. Normal starting position, add some loft, lower the handle stand further away, 
and now I need to feel like I make a much shorter arc on the way through, and this should give me a higher flight. And you can see that was a much, much higher flight, and that was a particularly, that was a better shot to play into that flag because there was a lot less green to work with. But hopefully you can see the difference in the flights there. Still using the same club, but using what I call my toolbox. Things that I can do to change the trajectory, change the spin, change the land angle, ultimately change the rollout. And those th three things, if I use them correctly, are gonna help me get close to lots of different flags on that green. As you can see from there, the low one wasn't really the right option. The higher one gave me much greater chance of getting closer. Now you might not choose to add in all those three things. You might choose to just add one. So you might take a starting position and just add some loft. You may well take a normal set and just stand a little closer. We can have variations of these things. They're spectrum. So we can go from one extreme to the other and anywhere in between. So short game toolbox, practice your short game toolbox. Use those three things, use those three things I should say to vary the trajectory, that's gonna give you different options around the green. It's gonna help you get up and down more often, and that is a great way to ensure you lower your scores. Massive, massive thanks to Las Colinas for hosting me for a few days. I'm sure you'll agree, the course looks absolutely fantastic. It's in great condition. If you do get a chance to visit, definitely make it worth your while. Uh, absolutely fantastic course and practice facilities. Thank you for watching. Usual stuff is down below, comments box, like button. There is also a link over here to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. It is absolutely free. Thank you again for watching. We shall hopefully see you again soon.